Here comes the colourful, crazy La Hiena, the underrated, fierce competitor from Tigre, Argentina, Jorge Barrios. He's a quality pro, rugged, courageous and unbeaten in his last 27. Brimming with confidence all week. They've been trading insults, him and Asselino Freitas. He promises more machismo, more heart, more determination. Convinced he can become the new world super featherweight champion tonight. He is the underdog, Spencer, but he's got to be respected as a very dangerous challenger here. He has indeed. This is a genuine grudge match between two fighters who really don't like each other. It's a sparkling atmosphere here in the uh, American Airlines arena. There's plenty of Argentinians here as well as Brazilians for Freitas. Big community of Brazilians in Miami. Barrios has got his own followers and uh, well, he's ready to go, isn't he? Well, what I will say of him is he looks very relaxed indeed, very confident. There's a lot of pride at stake here. He's savouring every moment of this, his first world title fight. Some people back in Argentina believe he's the new Carlos Monzon, the best kept secret they've had. And uh, we'll find out soon enough. Here he is to the chance of Popo. Popo, one of the most popular boxers in the world today. The exciting, charming young puncher groomed on the dusty streets of Salvador de Bahia and a hero to his Brazilian people. Asselino Freitas, the uh, world nine stone four champion, who at nearly 28, he's never lost and he's never really let us down. Pretty exceptional fighter whose offense has been awesome, his defense a touch leaky, but uh, that adds to the drama of the man, Spencer. Well, it does, and as I said, that weight-making has been a problem for a number of years now. How he still makes the weight, I never know. So big for a super featherweight, and that is why he's so vulnerable. I think that draining down that weight all the time, the punch resistance isn't always there. I mean, we see our own Barry Jones put him on the floor. Vulnerability adds to his attraction and how they adore Asselino Freitas. Great to see the thousands here who've come out for him in Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Miami Arena here in Miami, Florida, for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions and Showtime. Introducing our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Guy Jutras. From St. Paul, Minnesota, Dennis Nelson. And from Coral Gables, Florida, Peter Tremetera. And our third man of the ring, the referee in charge, working in this, his 21st world title bout, Jorge Alonso. All right, fans, here we go. The time has come for our main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO and WBA 130-pound championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Miami, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with blue trim, and hailing from Tigre, Argentina. He weighed in at already 129 pounds. His record, 39 wins, one loss, one draw, one no decision, with 29 wins coming by way of knockout. At 130 pounds, two in the world by the WBA, also number two in the world by the WBO. Here is the challenger known as La Hiena, introducing Jorge Rodrigo Barrio. And his opponent, ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with green trim, hailing from Salvador, Brazil. He weighed in at the limit of 130 pounds even. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 33 wins, no losses, 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his 11th appearance in a world title bout, here is the undefeated WBA and WBO 130-pound champion of the world, introducing Asalino Popo Reta. And once again, a referee in charge, Jorge Alonso. What an atmosphere here. Asselino Freitas so emotional, almost in tears at the introduction. But it's a genuine grudge match as well. Ill feeling between the South American 27-year-olds. Needle in the build-up. Plenty of pride in that ring. A quality world title fight. There's a 59 knockouts between them. Bags of experience. The questions. Is Jorge Barrios good enough to burst the Brazilian bubble? Will the years of grinding his massive frame down to 9-4 finally catch up with Asselino Freitas? And what happens when the Argentinian gets hit for the first time? Mouthwatering, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, Adam. We're going to find out all those answers now. Freitas has been making this way for so long. We know he's been struggling for a number of years. A fight that uh, boxing insiders have been relishing since it was announced. The red and blue trunks of Jorge Barrios from Tigre. Pretty sturdy and strong, but a jump up in level for the former Argentinian and South American champion. This is Freitas' 10th defense of his WBO title. He's uh, operated at this level for so long. Yeah, and a genuine grudge match as well. Barrios and Freitas. It's known that they're not friends, and there will be fireworks at the beginning of this contest. Both big punchers. Freitas, the bigger puncher of the two. Does have the tendency to leave himself open, Freitas, when he lets go with those big bombs. Was down in the very first round when he uh, travelled to Britain and fought the light punching Barry Jones. Then got up and uh, had the popular Welshman over a number of times before stopping him in eight. Lizzie Freitas carrying that left hand dangerously low, leaving himself wide open to the right hands. Barry is getting through a good right hand at the start here. That'll add to his confidence, Barrios. Doesn't look unnerved by the task in front of him. Freitas trying to put the combinations together. Looks to get that jab moving, all a bit wild. Yeah, looking really looking to load up here, Freitas. As I said before, it's a genuine grudge match. Needs to settle down, Freitas. You can see him really loading up with those body shots. Big right hands, looking a little bit wild here at the beginning of this first round. Interesting opener so far. Neither really getting the advantage just yet. There's the Freitas right hand that's uh, knocked out so many of his opponents. Yeah, neither man settled down in this first round. Good left hook getting in there from Freyas. And an uppercut, good shot there. Barrios just seemed to go a little unsteady on the legs. Beautiful on the inside there from Asselino Popo Freitas, who's starting to get into his rhythm, find his range, and Barrios just turned there. A confused look. And they both slug it out at the end of the first round. The screaming Brazilian fans at ringside as Freitas 
just gets the edge. Here's the second, WBA and WBO 9 stone 4, or 130 pound title on the line, the silver trunks of Asselino Popo Freitas. Long reigning champion. The challenge is from La Hiena, Jorge Barrios. Who's going to try and come at Freitas? He knows the Brazilian's been down and can be hurt. And Barrios is no light punch. He's got 29 knockout wins. Yeah, Barrios can punch himself. Freitas getting through at the end of the first round there. Looked to settle down, looked wild at the beginning. But Barrios not looking to go anywhere, looking to stand and trade with Freitas and gets through a good left hook of his own. The word is from the Barrios camp that uh, there'll be no lacking in the courage, heart and pride stakes. But their man is a real fighter. We just don't know too much about him, do we? No, we've not seen too much of him. All we know are the rave reviews we've heard about him. We've certainly seen he's come to fight here, standing and training with Asselino Freyas. Freyas must be careful, leaves himself wide open, as we see there, he's letting that big right hand go. Leaves himself wide open to the hooks. Trading with Asselino Freitas may not be the most advisable option. Only three men that have ever faced him have lasted the distance. Really is a chilling puncher. The left hooks and the right hands. I remember when he took out Daniel Alicia back home in, uh, in Sheffield. Sparkling stuff. tries to come to Freitas, close the distance down, not let those uh, strong arms work of the champion. They're all showing each other a little more respect in there now. Far more respect than they've been showing in the build-up. Big calls from both men. There's the right hand from Freitas again. Doubling up. Trying to get the full power in. He looked to touch gloves and Barrios doesn't want any of it. Well, really is nasty feeling between them. There's Oscar Suarez in the corner. You'll remember him as the uh, man that uh, helped guide Nassim Hammond in the last three or four years of his career, that is, if Hammond calls time, we don't know yet. The lovely ladies at ringside, everybody enjoying this show. Asselino Freitas has work to do to make a successful World Super Featherweight title defence, because at the moment, Jorge Barrios is there, right in front of him, and refusing to go anywhere. Well, Freitas is trying to take the centre of the ring here in the third round. Started well, Freitas, he looks like the one that's settled into this contest more, getting through with that right hand. Barrios needs to get off of these shots first, needs to break the ribbon, Freitas. Freitas carrying that left hand very low. Barrios should be looking to step on the outside of that, come over the top with those right hands. This the round that Freitas said he would finish the fight in. Will he go for it? So much passion and emotion around Asselino. Freitas, a slip there. Well, there's a lot of water in his corner. And uh, that's dangerous. Took a real tumble. Yeah, bad slip there. Must be a lot of war on the floor. Before the referee stopped the contest and got that mopped up. Again, Barrios comes forward. He's coming off a fourth round win over Fabian Salazar in April. Trained really hard for this. 
Back in Tigre. Buenos Aires. Look at the two now. This is starting to warm up. Yeah, really heating up in there. And the good news is that Barrios is taking everything that Freyas has thrown at him. He's hitting with some good right hands. And Barrios is still standing in front of him. That's it. If you can take Freyas' power, you've got a chance because technically, maybe he's not the best super featherweight in the world. No, certainly not. Technically, he's not the best super featherweight, but there. Good right hand from Freitas, flush of the chin of Barrios. Barrios takes a shot and wants to come back for more. This is really going to heat up into a good contest. The blood just by the left eye of Jorge Barrios. Just dabbing away at that. It's annoying him. Freitas is on. Let's look at the uh, power that he has. Not huge legs like Nassim Hamad has. A different sort, but physically strong, says Oscar Suarez. And how he makes that nine stone four limit. I remember when he was uh, weighing in against Barry Jones, they had him on and off the scale so quickly and were putting the fluid straight down him. He's uh, a massive super featherweight. Yeah, he really does only make that nine stone four for a matter of about a second or two. Back up, it looks like Jorge Barrios on that left eye, just on the eyelid there, that's fairly deep. But so early on in the fight, and uh, the cuts man, Braulio Rodriguez, goes to work. That's not what Barrios needed at this point. No, he seems to keep himself under control when that car opened, but doesn't need that at the beginning of this contest. Do you think that... Freitas is edging these early rounds. It's nip and tuck at the moment. Yeah, Freitas is the one that's getting through with the cleaner shots. The good news for Barrios is that he's taking the shots well. He took some right hands, flush on the chin, and still standing in front of Freitas. Barrios' best chance will be later on as Freitas tires, loses a bit of that power. And Barrios can come on strong, but he's got through those three rounds. And hasn't shown no signs of weakness at all, Barrios. Here's the fourth. This is the round that Asselino Freitas disposed of Juan Carlos Ranchero Ramirez in May in Chicago. Good polished performance. Not many stopped Ramirez that early. He's had some problems out of the ring of late Freitas, managerial difficulties and uh, devastated by the loss of his father. Very close family man. Freitas even got on the uh, mobile phone to his mother back in Sheffield when he uh, caught Daniel Allen's here in the uh, interview afterwards. Cracking guy, cracking fighter. Barrios' eye seems to be bleeding quite heavily again. I don't know if that's affecting his vision. Might have difficulty seeing those quick short right hands that Freitas throws. This is where Barrios needs to get off of his shots first. He can't afford to let Freitas get off of the shots. Freitas has those long arms. Barrios needs to get inside like he is now and let go of those combinations. Freitas has a habit of leaning back, looking for the countering hooks. Can be caught like that on the way in. Blood streaming down from the uh, cut on Jorge Barrios. That's really annoying him. It's up to him now to keep his tactics together, work his fight plan out, and maybe take Freitas into the later rounds where uh, the question mark of the weight and possibly the stamina. You never know, do you? Well, that's where Barrios needs to get him. He's got for the first three rounds out of the way. He needs to get this into the second half of the contest. Freitas is a known... He's been known to struggle with the weight, and that's where he'll weaken in the second half of the contest. But Barrios hasn't shown no signs of weakness, hasn't been wobbled too much, took the shots flush in the chin. And he's still coming forward, still pushing Freitas. But needs to get off with the shots first. That's better work from Barrios. 
Just forcing Freitas between the ropes there. The good news for the Argentinian fans here at ringside. Outnumbered they are by the Brazilian. But uh, their man has not been overwhelmed. He's still with Freitas very much. And uh, if they can keep the cut under control, then maybe Barrios can claw his way into this. Look better in that round. Prayers being said at ringside. There's so much emotion involved in uh, this fight between the South American pair. 27 years of age, both men. Very different careers. Barrios, who has won a, a couple of minor titles, a Latino belt. But uh, Freitas, who first won a version of the World Super Featherweight title with a crushing knockout of Anatoly Alexandrov five years ago. Both been trying to take that centre of the ring. This is always going to be fireworks, this contest. It's known that they don't like each other. It is a grudge match. And it's living up to all expectations at the moment. I think it's hard not to like Asselino Freitas. He's uh, been a great man for the sport, really. Speaks a little English. And uh, tries very hard with the media and does a lot of charity work back in Brazil, too. Sort of a Brazilian version of Oscar de la Hoya, really. Thousands turn up back in uh, Salvador to welcome him home. When he's fought there, they've got crowds of 40,000. A legend back home. Yeah, phenomenal support in his own country. So our uh, American colleagues have it. You have Freitas in the lead, Spencer too. Yeah, I've got Freitas winning everything at the moment. Just stealing the rounds for me. He's the one oh. getting off with his shots first. Got through with some good right hands. But that's what I expected. I expect Barrios to come on strong in the second half of the contest. Freitas always knew he was a fast starter, strong at the beginning of contests. And I think that Barrios' game plan would have, tried, would, would have been to try and take over in the second half. He is unbeaten in his last 27, Jorge Barrios. And uh, he won't remember what it's like to lose because his only defeat was back in December 97 when he was disqualified in the fourth round against Cesar Domine back in Buenos Aires. So uh, really he's an undefeated fighter and uh, those are the dangerous ones. Well, good shot there from Barrios just breaking through the guard of Asselino Freyas who leaves himself wide open. We see Freyas now complaining is that a little weakness? It's been rattled there. Asselino Freitas was the uh, punch of the fight so far from Jorge Barrios. Wants to get that jab going. Freitas, the hand so very low. Tiempo! That's better from Barrios. The Argentinian who has time to do this. The cut hasn't worsened too much. But um, must be a niggling annoyance. How's he faring so far? Not too bad. Well, they've kept the cut under control, which is good news for Barrios. And he had the best round of the contest for me by far there. Come on strong in the second half of the round. Started catching Asselino Freyas. There we see him catching him with a good stiff jab. Freyas' defence is leaky at times. And now is the time for Barrios to make his move and try and come on strong in the second half of this contest. The good, the good news is he's taking everything that Freyas has thrown at him and he's still there. It's the uh, third defence since he unified the WBO and WBA Nine Stone Four titles with a uh, fairly tight and uh, some say controversial decision 
over the uh, Cuban Joel Casamayor. Casamayor, who's to face Diego Corrales coming up soon. And uh, interesting to see if Freitas gets through this, who will go up against. Talk of Floyd Mayweather, uh, but lightweight has never really come of anything. He needs some super fights to become a superstar. I think that Freitas would be a better fighter at lightweight than he is at super feather. He's been struggling for so long. He must be losing an immense amount of power draining down like that all the time and I think it will suit him when he eventually moves up to lightweight but we've been talking about this now for a number of years and he still seems to be making his super featherweight limit and Jesus Chavez and Eric Morales now to come up and fight at super featherweight and uh, mouth-watering division again Freitas who has not lost in 33 fights he was an exceptional amateur he claims he only got beaten twice Harris lunging in there needs to start working behind that jab slipping inside Freitas just lunging with those big hooks gotta be no, careful no, he doesn't get caught bien, jumping bien, in like bien, that Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Again, he just dabs at the left eye, which has been a problem since the third round, but he's starting to catch Freitas with some regularity now. Buffer of a good right hand there, Barrios, and again a good left hook. But look at the defence here of Asselino Freitas, look where the hands are. Just walking forward with his hands down by his waist. Dangerous game to be playing. Game. Barrios unfazed, keeping those gloves as high as possible, trying to find the angles to land his punches clean on Freitas. Some say Freitas not quite the fighter. He was. He was fairly poor against Daniel Attar of Ghana recently as well. And boxing's all about timing. Can Jorge Barrios make his dream come true? Well, Barrios still trying to plug forward, still trying to find that opening. He's allowing Freitas to get off first with the shots. He needs to lead off first himself. And again, Freitas doing enough to take that round. Just got caught at the end there, Barrios. For, uh, for me, the Argentinian, I think, is getting back into this. The cut, which is getting a little deeper by the left eyebrow. Showing a good action in the rounds. Just getting tied up there, Freitas looking to throw one of those big bombs he's been letting go from that first bell. Just a little uh, time out here. They're having a look at the right ear of Jorge Barrios. There's a problem with the eardrum or something like that, which of course would affect his balance. They say he's fine, the doctor looked at it. He wants to carry on, of course he does, with all this machismo at stake. But um, just watch for that. Over the next couple of rounds, his balance and his uh, timing. He's got that cut over the uh, left eye. Some sort of rupture, maybe, in the right ear. Problems for Barrios, but on the cards, he must be getting close to Freitas now. That's the uh, good point. Well, still got Freitas in a pretty handy lead at the moment. Just doing enough work in these rounds. Some of these rounds are close. But I'm just leaning towards Freyas. Popo, Popo again. The crowd 
chant. Second half of this World Super Featherweight title match. Real genuine world-class affair. This is what we like to see in boxing. Oh, that was a better shot there from Barrios. Get through with the left hook. Freitas just been a touch disjointed tonight, but that's how he fights, really. He fights for the crowd as much as himself, you think, from time to time. He's had a couple of distress signals, although, this evening. That's unlike Freitas. He seems to be complaining about Barrios' cut there. I think he was asking the referee to take a look at Barrios' cut. Now, is that a little distress signal? Is that showing signs of tiredness? And the referee, Jorge Alonso, does just briefly look at the cut there. It's uh, worsening on the left side of Barrios' face. And I wonder how many of these right hands he can see coming. Well, Barrios looks really fired up in there at the moment. Really going for this now, big onslaught from Barrios here. Fighting through the pain. A real warrior, Jorge Barrios. Whatever happens here, he's proved he can uh, hold his own with the very best. Good right hand game through from Barrios there. Freya's got to keep his hands up here in the ropes. Good exchange of punches. Plenty of leather getting through from the fired-up Argentinian who's decided that he fancies his chances. I don't know whether he's worried about the cut, but uh, there's been an up in tempo here. Well, yeah, really seems to pick this up here. Barrios, big onslaught. Twin Freitas under good pressure on the ropes here at the end of the round and a good round there for Barrios and just what he needed. The best one of the night for Jorge Barrios and how the crowd reacted to that. You can really uh, soak the atmosphere here at ringside as they uh, go to work again on the left cut. The doctor's in there having a look at it, the referee's there too. Oh, it would be cruel now if that was stopped, should it be though? Well, it really has opened up. It looks a horrid cut there. I wouldn't be surprised if that gets stopped there. It's deep on the eyelid, and I think there's another little nick as well, just above it. What a terrible cut that is. He'd be very lucky if he's allowed to continue with that. Well, he's done ever so well so far. Jorge Barrios, but um, that's a worrying sign, the cut. And there are five rounds to go. Will it hold up? And uh, will he have problems with the vision? Here's the eighth, the round that Asselino Freitas finally punched the resistance out of Barry Jones. Well, the question marks now, what has Barrios got left after that big onslaught? in the seventh put so much effort into that seventh round he fought like it was his last round i wonder if he thought that they might actually stop it because of that cut again though right hands from freitas on the problem spot for barrios <laughs> Totally comfortable, Asselino Freitas, but looked in serious trouble. But can Barrios get to him late on? He's turned southpaw, Freitas, and back again to orthodox. Well, showing some real grit and determination in there, Barrios. But Freitas, just one move ahead at the moment. He's the one getting off first with the shots. Certainly not been a vintage performance from the world super featherweight champion, but it's uh, a good fight. With a man really been dented yet. Well, we 
getting into the territory. And uh, one or two of these big punches will start to have more effect. Legs getting tired. Arms starting to hurt surely inside there now. Yeah, nice work with a jab there from Freyas and get through with a lovely right hand. Boxing well here in the eighth round, Freitas. That was classy from Freitas, but back comes Barrios with his own combination. Trying to uh, back Freitas up. He's looked to hold the middle of the ring. Jorge Barrios. There's a nice change of tactics here in the eighth round from Freitas, showing us that he can actually box Freitas on the down. back foot. Down to a jab in the eighth round. Uh, he just smiles, so does the uh, referee. It wasn't a uh, huge knockdown or anything. I think they just sort of had to go through the motions there. But uh, he's on the canvas, Asselino Freitas, and hurt there by a right hand from Barrios. That will give the Argentinian so much self-belief. Well, it just seems to be off balance more than hurt there, Freitas. And around, I'm going to score 10-9 because I had Freitas winning the round clearly. And then, of course, getting floored. Seems to be more off balance than hurt. Might be vital that, how they score it. Guijoux, Tris, Dennis Nelson and... Uh, Pete Tremetero at ringside. A lot of these rounds have been close. The general feeling here is that Freitas is winning this. But, uh, well, it was a legitimate knockdown, if not a really powerful punch. Yeah, it was a legitimate knockdown. He walks onto a straight jab. More off balance than hurt. Yeah, definitely wasn't hurt at all. But the shot landed, so it's got to be scored a knockdown. But still around, I'd only score 10-9. For Barrios. What will happen next? We have 12 minutes left of this uh, interesting World Super Featherweight title. The silver trunks of Vasilino Popo Freitas defending here in Miami. And there's Spencer's. Scorecard, you've got Freitas just one in front now. It's uh, close, isn't it? Yeah, just one in front. Barrios coming back so well, and that knockdown may be a telling point. Blood still rolling down the left side of Jorge Barrios. Hindered since the third round on that. He's had his moments in the fight see how much he wants this but uh, is he good enough to take the titles from Freitas tonight never been in with anybody really remotely near the class of Freitas he did hold the WBU belt for a while and uh, has a win over our old friend who's become the scourge of the uh, Domestic super featherweights back in England, Afif Jelti. He's, he's about 46 and a granddad now. He's the European champion still. He is, he's in the best stage of his career. Our best super featherweights back home. Probably Kevin Lear, Michael Gomez, and Alex Arthur, the uh, emerging Edinburgh prospect. Well, this is how the press row is scoring it. Barrios in front on one, big. Freitas on the other, it's a, it's a fight which you could you could score in very different ways, especially that knockdown in the last round, 10-8 or 10-9. Well, some of these rounds have been close, but for me, but for me, Freitas is the one that seems to be more in control. Barrett's putting on another big onslaught in this round. This is where it comes down to inner strength who will finish the better terrible terrible cut now on the face of Jorge Barrios I wonder if some referees or doctors back home would have stopped it by now would be a cruel way for him to lose with the amount he's put into this fight the health must come first though
Yeah, looking at that cut really is a terrible, terrible cut. And I think there's a lot of referees out there that would have stopped this contest maybe a round or two ago. But he's still in there and still fighting away, Barrios. Tremendous finish here to the ninth round and a good round again for Barrios. Put on a big onslaught. Another round that's gone so close, difficult to score. But maybe just leaning towards Barrios. Two cuts by the eyebrow and that horrible one on the eyelid for Jorge Barrios. Very, very close. Could the World Super Featherweight titles be slipping away from the Brazilian cult hero Asselino Freitas. One of six children, he grew up in poverty in Salvador, sleeping on a dirt floor. And uh, had hardships. Now he's got the money, the fame, and at the moment, the world titles. Massive right hand start around there from Freyas. Still looks quite fresh here in the tenth round. And this fight really could be won or lost here from here on in. Crowd getting a little tenser here at ringside. They want Freitas to deliver and deliver fairly quickly. This is certainly not a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination. Now, as I said, this fight could be won or lost here in these last few rounds. Good right hand from Barrios. Freitas again with those hands low. Looking sloppy. Is he starting to run out of steam? Well, Freitas has been weak on the left side, been wide open to right hands all night. Barrios full of defiance, coming forward, really letting those shots go. This is a man that really wants this. Determination, enthusiasm and grit shown by Jorge Barrios tonight. In his first world title fight, remember, nobody knew what to expect. And uh, win or lose tonight, we'll have him back. Display from the man from Tigre by Panama's Delta River, the province of Buenos Aires. To back up Freitas into the corners now. This is good work again from Barrios, really driving those shots in. Wielding in the hooks and not allowing Freitas run. Seem to have been badly affected by that problem with the right ear. Either the uh, suspected thing will be disorientation, but it hasn't happened, and uh, he's just willing himself on. It's uh, a ferocious effort from Jorge Barrios. Yeah, it really is. And I don't know if Freitas knows actually how close his contest is, because he's boxing like a man that needs to just survive these rounds to keep his title, but... I see it a lot, lot closer than what he thinks it is. And Barrios, for me, taking these rounds at the moment and winning this round as well. Another good round for Barrios there. Barrios has come back. No doubt about that. What a crucial finish we have here. See the blood on the sleeve there of Jorge Alonso from the uh, cut. Left eye. It's been a, a bad one. It's got worse over the rounds, but it hasn't dampened or quenched the spirit of Jorge Barrios. Hats off to him. A oh, tremendous effort he's put on here. Win, lose, or draw. People are going to want to see this man again. See Barrios there just looking to wipe his. Blood on the sleeve of the referee. Oscar Suarez just telling Asselino Freitas there. And, uh, he's got some work to do in the last six minutes. 
Asselino Freitas. It's not in the bag yet. Is he on cruise control? Remember that time that Oscar de la Hoya dominated against Felix Trinidad and went on his bike in the last few rounds and he lost. This is dangerous for Freitas. Well, Barrios is the one that's really trying in there. Freitas is doing the Christmas sharper work. But Barrios just keeps grinding him down. And Freitas, I don't think, realises how close this is. Right a hand, good right hand there. From Jorge Barrios. And Freitas goes down, and this time, more heavily. Down twice. Being outboxed and outfought at times, Asselino Freitas. Is that the crucial moment? Will the titles change hand? Jorge Barrios looks composed. Freitas just being taken back to the corner. The mouthpiece put back in. He was shaken, and that could be the deciding factor. Well, what a solid right hand there. Shook Freitas right down to the soles of his boots, and you can see him hanging on for dear life in there. He looks hurt, but I've seen him like this before. And the wounded animal could be dangerous. Barrios got to be careful, but he's going for it. On the verge of a sensation here in Miami. Jorge Barrios, who's fought through the cut eye. The problem with the right ear. And a bloody mask. To turn the tables here late on. Will he become the new world super featherweight champion? Some would say he deserves it. What an onslaught here in the 11th round. Freitas and Mykon now need something big or he's going to lose this title. Does Freitas need a knockout? Is he capable of getting one this late on? He's blown so many people away early. What about that power in the late stages? He needs something to keep Barrios off him because the rounds surely are starting to mount up for the Argentinian. Well, that really has livened things up here. Electric atmosphere. Freitas trying to get himself back together. Barrios going for his own left hook in the last seconds of the 11th round. Just waiting Barrios again to come through to him. Freitas backpedaling. What can he muster now? Tries the jab from Freitas and a huge right hand on the bell! And Barrios goes down. It was a delay reaction, a crunching. Equaliser from Asselino Freitas, right on the sound of the bell, and Jorge Barrios did not know what hit him. Can you believe that? One of the biggest right hands I've seen Freitas throw, flushing the chin of Barrios. Is a minute going to be enough to recover? I don't think so. He was in terrible trouble there at the end of the 11th. A ferocious, thunderous shot from Asselino Freitas. And if he ever needed a punch out of the book, out of the bank, that's what he needed. He had to get off the floor from the knockdown. But my word, what felt it right down, Jorge Barrios. This is so close. What a sensational finish. And Freitas is going for it. He's hurt him again. And Barrios is down for the second time. And the whole of the round is left. He looks spent. All his efforts. Are they about to go out of the window? Freitas again tries the right and left. He's catching him cleanly now. Just needs to hang on here, Barrios. Needs to tie Freitas up. He's doing the wrong thing here. Needs to pick those hands up. This is where he needs to tie Freitas up. He hasn't recovered. He's down again. It's not called a knockdown, but he doesn't know where he is. And it's going to be 
stopped in the 12th round. Asselino Freitas dramatically retains his WBA and WBO Super Featherweight title. Well, 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 you can never predict in boxing. Maybe he was behind on the cards, but he found that punch at the end of the 11th round. And poor, poor Jorge Barrios. You have to feel for him, but that is what makes Asselino Freitas the number one super featherweight in the world. What an amazing turnaround. I had him behind going into that last round, but Barrios was never going to recover from that massive knockdown at the end of the 11th, but all you can do is feel sorry for this man there. There will be tears from the emotional Asselino Freitas. The Brazilian fans are dancing and in triumph. It's a 34-0 for Freitas. It was far from a perfect performance, but look how much it means to him, hitting his heart. And uh, you've got to love the guy Freitas. Uh, he brings to this sport. What an exciting fighter. That's what makes him so exciting. You know, he carries that punch power in either hand, and he can pull it out of the bag in the first round or the 12th. A true champion. And just when the title seems to be slipping away from him, he turned it around. Super featherweight champion of the world, shouts Asselino Freitas. There was so much needle and problems in the build-up to this one. There must be so much respect now that they'll feel for each other. Oh, here come the tears. He's an extraordinary young man, Asselino Freitas. Pretty soon, I should think. Well, we see him here over his symbol on the phone. But let's take a look at the finish here. Massive right hand. And you really got a feel for Barrios. What a game, game effort. And it's such a shame that it had to end that way. But Freitas was never going to let him off the hook. Totally out of it here. Put it into perspective. Barrios fighting through the cut and the pain. He had uh, wrapped up the rounds, and uh, we're starting to hear around ringside here that it was pretty level on the cards. So, uh, my word, Freitas needed that punch at the end of the 11th, and it was that one that did it. He never recovered. He never recovered from that. That was a massive right hand. Barrios done well to even get up from that shot, but a minute was never going to be enough. And Freitas, such a good finisher, jumped all over him at the beginning of the 12th. And it's a sad end for Barrios. I think he can come again. What a tremendous effort he put up. You can see the legs totally obeyed him there, and he was never going to be able to continue. Jorge Barrios has proved to us all he belongs in world class. But the added spice, the added ingredient, that Asselino Freitas brings is that power. And uh, it can happen in round one, and it can happen in round 12. And look at that, that's fantastic to see. Absolutely brilliant. Sportsmanship at the end of a wonderful night, a wonderful fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 50 seconds in round number 12. Our referee in charge, Jorge Alonso, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated and still champion, Asselino Popo Greta. Fabulous atmosphere. He's covered in those world title belts, Asselino Freitas. And I wonder what we're going to see next from him. Bring on Eric Morales, bring on Floyd Mayweather. Let's see him up against the other very best fighters in the world.